Well, we are here in Westfall today to turn in the Defias Brotherhood. Welcome back to WoW Classic, and thank you so much for joining me today. I don't think this is going to chain into anything, but it could. There's a couple possibilities. I, I saw this message about the messenger that could spawn into that quest, or it could sp turn into a Deadmines quest. With you. Should we check out the note? Maybe that would tell us. Stout Mantle. Some nerve sending a total stranger to disgust the Defias gang. Once you saved my life, and now you, you put it in great peril, but I owe you. The Defias Brotherhood is larger than you think. Every mine from Westfall to Elwyn Forest is under their control. Kobolds and gnolls have been enlisted to do their dirty work. They have goblins crafting metal monsters to place in the Westfall fields to prey on the superstitions of the local residents. Oh, so the harvest golems, they had goblins make those. They have built a vast underground network, bigger than you know, from Booty Bay right to Stormwind Keep. You may be a brave paladin, but you are a fool if you think you can shut them down. They are working on a weapon of mass destruction. After all, if there's one thing stonemasons know, it's how to build big. You didn't think this was about pumpkin farms and vineyards, did you now? I repaid your favor, now leave me be. And that was the person we spoke to in Lakeshire. So now we'll turn this in. Bah, I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance. But this information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stonemasons. Perhaps that was a slip of the tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stonemasons? Only one man would know for sure, Matthias Shaw, head of the SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. Be careful. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Let's just hop over and do that now. I guess we're just passing along the same exact note, so no reason to read that again. I'll go ahead and fly us over, and I'll cut in when we're about to find Shaw. Alright, so Matthias Shaw should be over in Old Town in the, in the barracks. Should be a sign. I did train some level 22 spells, so we got another rank of heal, and we got rank 4 of smite. There we go, SI7. It's a good thing that the Secret Service headquarters for Stormwind is so well labeled. Only assume he'll be in here somewhere. And there he is, Master Matthias Shaw, looking really different than he looks in the current game. Very interesting. Need help? What business do you have with me? I'm a very busy man. This matter might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemasons Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I have written a more detailed account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once. Take Shaw's report to Garen Stoutmantle. Go with honor, friend. Okay, yeah, we can play the fetch game. We'll we'll go ahead and take that back to Garen and see what he has to say. Uh, we had a more detailed report so we can take a look at this maybe when we're in flight would probably be a good time for that let's go ahead and get out of here so if you wanted to know where he was hiding it's tucked away back here in SI7 headquarters in Old Town not that hard to find in reality I put a few more things on the auction house. Some of the greens we had returned to our bags. I put them up for a little bit cheaper. Hopeful that maybe some of it will sell. Even after training, we're still at 12 golds, which isn't bad, but you know, we're halfway, a little bit more than halfway to level 40. 
and we have to start amassing golds like crazy. If not, I'll, I'll just spend the time grinding out the gold. Definitely dedicated to this character to do that. But it would be nice if we could maybe get half of the way there just by selling things on the auction house and selling junk and just getting there naturally about halfway would be good. All right, let's jump a flight back to I Westfall. Oh, it closed out our book Be because careful. of course it did. Lord Stoutmantle, led by Edwin Van Cleef, the Stonemasons Guild was composed of the most skilled builders among men. The Stonemasons helped to rebuild the broken city of Stormwind that was raised by the orcs during the First War. Van Cleef and his tradesmen were peerless builders and their work and artistry was evident in the edifices of the Cathedral of Light and Stormwind Keep itself. However, the nobles of Stormwind ran up a huge debt by expanding the kingdom's military presence throughout Elwyn and into Stranglethorn. The massive debt crippled the kingdom's economy and stripped Van Cleef and his stonemasons of their promised rewards. After spending years toiling to rebuild the glorious city, the stonemasons were left broke, forgotten by the city's corrupt officials. Having personally known Edwin Van Cleef my entire life, I can tell you that facing him as a foe is quite a daunting task. You see, he was my childhood friend, and I personally trained him in the ways of the shadows, thinking that one day he might consider a career alongside me. If Van Cleef is hiding, is heading up the Defias Brotherhood, may the light have mercy on our souls. Master Matthias Shaw, Stormwind Assassin's Guild. Yeah. It would have been really nice to have taken in that little bit of lore before we did the Dead Mines run. But if you haven't seen the Dead Mines run, now would be a good time to check that out because I have a feeling that this is going to chain into a quest to go into the dead mines and investigate perhaps but that's a very interesting lore and I don't think I've ever read that second uh, report back from Shaw before that's very cool greetings uh, yes he did shed quite a bit of light on this Edwin Van Cleef I know the name well to think that a man so in Industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel and nerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. Oh, you should believe it. We've been there. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. My scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moonbrook, the Gold Coast Quarry, and Jangalode Mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. Between Moonbrook, Gold Coast Quarry, and Jangalode Mine on the roads. Light bless you. Okay. Moonbrook, Gold Coast Quarry, and Jingle Load Mine on the road? Okay. Well, does that mean that we just can start here? We just run up and down the road and supposedly... Oh, see, people are asking. Yeah, that's what they mean by have you seen the messenger. Well, we'll toss it out there. Maybe someone will have seen him. Maybe we will just get lucky and encounter him somewhere along the way. Quests like this can get tough. If you're just looking for one enemy that just walks up and down the road. And then, you know, you don't know if you're just not finding him. Or if maybe someone else has already recently defeated him. So you don't know if you're looking for something. Or if you're waiting for a respawn and looking for something. It can get kind of time consuming. We'll make a run of the road and just see, but um, it's not the most exhilarating or interesting kind of quest when you're just blindly seeking out an enemy that may or may not be spawned in at the time that you're looking for it. You have no way of knowing. But I guess we should start all the way down at Moonbrook. Do we know what it's... is its name going to be the Defias Messenger? Yeah, Defias Messenger, okay. Defias Pillager. <laughs> Not quite, but good to see the target command is working. Alright, so we can say that like we don't see it walking out of town. So let's just head to the north. And we'll just keep a lookout. In front. I mean, this isn't much of a road anymore here. 
Very overgrown, barely visible. Definitely the kind of road that a secret messenger might use if communicating with a illegal organization. Ah, shit, okay. We have this thing targeted somewhere. Oh, there she is. Or he, I can't tell. Looks like a he. All right, I'm grabbing him. I need to get closer. I think we got really lucky with that. All right, let's take a look here. What exactly did we get? Well, let's get off the fence first. Make a path here back to Sentinel Hill. A mysterious message. Black Nails, the sea awaits us. We need your supplies from the north. Strip everything. Every railroad pike, every water bucket. We need material. A shipment is due from BB, but long overdue. Come through for me, Black Nails. Send your supplies directly to the barn this time. No time to squander Van Cleef. Okay, well that kind of, you know, would prove it, I guess, to Stout Mantle that Van Cleef is in fact giving the orders at the Defias Brotherhood. To the Defias Brotherhood, rather. So yeah, if you guys are going to do Deadmines, I would suggest that you just do that breadcrumb that kind of takes you into Red Ridge. But you don't have to stay there, just do the breadcrumbs and then it can get to that point before you do Deadmines. Because you'll, you'll no doubt get a quest from the end of this chain here. Let's see what happens next. I'm assuming the next move would be for him to send us into the Deadmines to, to face Van Cleef, which we've already done. And we might have to do again to complete the quest here. What can I do for you? We were able to get information. You're not going to like it. This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal Saldean's wagon. He has promised to lead us to the hideout in exchange for his life. I want you to defend the traitor so he can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have uncovered the location. For the Alliance. Defend the traitor. Mm hmm? Saldean's wagon. Well, that's a little bit unusual. Oh shit, he's down here. It, it was unusual, we just had to turn around and look. So Stoutman will send a scrawny human like you to protect me? Guess you'll have to do. Better bring some friends too. You know the deal, right? You watch my back and I'll take you to the Defias hideout. But you better be close by my side. The Defias gang wants my head now. If they see me with you, they'll try to kill me. Let me know when you and any friends you can round up are ready to go. Oh, we're doing this friendless. We don't... Listen, you might not know it. We don't have any friends. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this isn't... Well, I don't know why we would need friends. It's not even marked as elite, and it's a green quest. Maybe we would want friends because, you know, this is going to lead into a dungeon, so it's kind of prepping us to, like, put a group together. It would be cooler if it just made it an elite quest that you would naturally get a group for, and then you find out that it's, you know, it's going to chain into the dungeon, and then you could just take that group into the dungeon. Making it a non-elite quest just makes me more prone to do it by myself, obviously. This guy is running too, and this is rare for like escort quest and classic from what I remember of vanilla. Everybody did the RP walk, and even sometimes you would do the RP walk and you would still be walking faster than them, or they would be walking faster than you. But uh, yeah, this is a good run. I mean, it's he, he doesn't run... It doesn't seem like he runs quite as fast as we do. Like, we could outdistance him, but he's keeping up a pretty good clip.
All right. So, yeah, he's leading us down into Moonbrook. We know where he's taking us, interestingly. I'm just kind of wondering, you know, usually with escort quests, they get jumped by enemies somewhere along the way. This guy was expecting trouble, and maybe we should be expecting trouble too. Beautiful sunset hour here in Westfall. It's a decent time to be going for a little jog to Moonbrook with our buddy, the Defias Trader. We could ask for better company, that's true. Hmm. Maybe we won't get attacked until we're in town. That would sort of make sense. Level 60 Gnome Mage. Riding a Night Elf Mount. How very cool. Riding a giant kitty cat. Here's another messenger that's hilarious. The entrance is hidden here in Moonbrook. Keep your eyes peeled for thieves. They want me dead. Yeah, you said that much. Look, there you are. Kind of. It's not even really the same character model. I, oh yeah, I guess it wasn't the same guy. They said they captured a traitor. So that was the messenger. We didn't convert the messenger. I guess we did just kill the messenger. It would have been cool if we could have like just wore the messenger down and taken him captive. Made him show us. They've had like... I remember there's like at least two torture quests. I can't remember which expansion it is where you like basically torture an enemy into revealing something for you. Of course, that was a horde quest, I think. Which makes sense. Are we gonna get jumped by thieves or not? This guy has, you know, Defias Trader literally ridden above his head, and we're walking through a town of Defias. We might just like body pull this one. So let's see what he does if we start fighting. Oh, he started to walk once we hit town, also. He doesn't give two shits about us fighting these guys. Help, he calls. There you go, buddy. Ooh, a scroll of spirit. It really feels like we're leading him, doesn't it? You can go tell Stoutmantle this is where the Defias gang is holed up. Oh, he called us by name. We must be friends. Alright, and now, run all the way back. Like, yeah, we could have set our hearth. That would have been the smart thing to do. Um, in this case, we're just going to keep going. Level 14 probably isn't going to be able to eat through our shields. Before they drop, at least. No, they're still aggroed to us. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm surprised we didn't pull that. It must have been a low level. Look at that view. Okay, now for sure he's going to give a quest that would take you into the dead mines to f face Van Cleef. Van Cleet? King 
King's honor, friend. Most excellent. Van Cleef is as good as ours now that we know where he's hiding. There's but one task left for you to complete. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. While it saddens me to condemn any man to a death sentence, it is for the greater good of the people of Westfall that Van Cleef is laid to rest once and for all. Bring me the villain's head once the deed is done. Oh, uh, we could get Staff of Westfall. Five intellect and eleven spirit. As opposed to eight intellect, five spirit, and stamina. I, I think I like what we have better, actually. That's a lot of spirit. We give up intellect, though, and we give up, like, five stamina, which is health. We're giving up health and mana for six more spirit. I don't know if it's worth it. It'll be worth the experience to complete the quest, that's for sure, so I'll definitely get that done, but... I don't know if I would equip the item. It would be a good item, like if you did not get this drop, it would be an amazing staff to have. We just happened to get this Emberstone staff uh, from Dead Mines, from a boss in there. So that is that. If I'm looking at like what quests we do next besides that one, um, I'm thinking we go to Lock Modan and we could take care of this elite quest there. Uh, where did it put? With dead mines, there it is. Yeah, so it's still a, a yellow quest, but I'll probably get that done. I don't think I'll record another run of the dead mines. I don't know how much interest there would be in seeing multiple runs of the same dungeon on the same character. It doesn't seem like very interesting to me, but um, yeah. So that's what I'll do. I'll just get that done just to get the experience. It'll probably be quite a chunk of experience to complete that quest, and the experience is from just defeating the enemies in the dungeon will be good as well. But for now. Our next move is going to be to take on this elite quest that we have left all the way back in Loch Bodan. Well, I thought we were going to do the elite quest in Dunmoreau, but when I got there, there were only four people on in the zone. So that didn't happen. No one was interested in doing the quest, so we're back in Red Ridge. And I think we're going to look for Belly Grub. And this is us hunting for a giant boar that is trampling a garden of daffodils. And he should be kind of right over back in this area. After that, we could head up to the northeast, I believe, and look for our Blackrock orcs and get our battle worn axes. So that's um, kind of the new plan is let's just go take on Belly Grub. And then we'll go from there. We'll probably just stay in Red Ridge. I don't really want to lose this elite quest, so I'll, I'll keep checking back with it occasionally. I'll fly there and see who's on, and if we can get a group, that's great. It looks like Belly Grub uh, just went down. So imagine that. Um, all these people are probably waiting for Belly Grub. Let's just see, like, you know, if that's the case. I'd hate to... I'd hate to have to try to tag something. Yeah, thanks. What I don't want is to have to tag it from somebody and steal it, basically. Sure, let's fight random boars while we wait for this boar to spawn. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, and it's going to serve to kill a little bit of time here. What do we got? A hunter, a warrior, warlock. Man, that's a pretty well-rounded group, actually. Everybody make sure that they loot so that I can skin, please. Speaking of skinning... Ah, uh, we still have some skill-ups to go before we have to worry about training it, I guess. I don't know if we just haven't been fighting a lot of skinnable enemies recently. That has to be it. I don't think we have been forgetting to skin. I don't know if fighting these boars will, like, cause Belly Grub to respawn any faster, but... Well, there isn't a lot else to do. At least someone is having a good time. 
I think it's safe to walk away a little bit. Well, this is quite far afield, actually. Let's just pull this one back. I'm out of range. It's like we're playing Final Fantasy XI or EverQuest now. We'll just pull the boar back to the group. It's usually what the tank's job would be. It's not our loot. Hey, it's Belly Grub. The object is busy. The object is very busy. Whoops. Oh, somebody didn't loot? We can't skin belly grub? Hunter loot it, man. No? Alright. Well that's fine. We don't we don't have to skin belly grub, I guess. That was pretty convenient, I do say. We did have to kill a couple of random boars, but having the group there was was definitely the way to go. Can I help you? Is Belly Grub still at it over there? Were you able to... Well, we were able to take care of it. Finally, the menace is laid to rest. Thank you. You have done me a great service. The garden shall be in full bloom this season. Uh, we get a bouquet of scarlet begonias for our offhand, which we don't have a free offhand. Be careful. Let's just see what we look like rocking that. Wait. Oh, look at it. Why did it make that unusual noise? It sounds like a dagger being pulled. That's very unusual, but um, okay. Great. Using this item will bind it to you. Parrot KGI. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. It just summons a parrot. And then the parrot follows us around. So it's just a pet, but it doesn't go to any kind of library. You actually have to keep the item because, you know, Classic has no pet library. All right. I don't know that we need a parrot sidekick that stands inside of us. It's a little bit awkward. Well, I, I think we're going to take a break here. It's a little unfortunate that we weren't able just to wrap up the Elite Quest. I was hoping just to clear Lock Modan off of the quest log. Would have been great. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one. But uh, we will take care of that another day. I think for now, our plan for next time is that we'll take on Blackrock Menace and Solomon's Law. And once we do that, then we'll probably be headed to the wetlands because now we just have a ton of yellow quests in the wetlands and we'll hopefully be able to do a bunch of them. Just go out, complete a bunch of quests, and then hopefully come back and turn a bunch of quests in. That would be ideal. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I can't say enough how much I appreciate the support and each and every one of you being here. I want you to take care of yourselves out there in the world that gets stranger every day and take care of each other, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.